Hello, hey everybody. Thank you so much for joining us this morning on the Good Life Gospel Show. It is Kat Wilson here. Just look, bringing you a little summary of the show. Today we had guests, um, William T. Stars on, and oh my gosh, he blew our minds with his awesome testimony and his awesome music. You can find his music, his, his song debuted today on our show called Going In, and it was great. His dope this guy is awesome he's like oh god's talented and he's after god's own heart so check him out william t stars s-t-a-r-z-z -Z, on instagram on facebook and everything every other kind of social media platform he announced that those are his handles so look him up check out his music i'm sure you will he's a, a rap hip-hop artist and i'm sure you will be able to rock out to his music and also hear his um his love for god and his lyrics and that's what he is so proud of and and we were so honored to have you william t stars on today all the way from va um he was one of our call well he was our calling guest on today. I thank you so much for um, listening with us and chopping it up with, with us with the topics that we had today and um, Tiff's uh, motivational moment um, and my surrender to love. Rich is going on and be great and G add. And then, you know, as only God can um, on, you know, just the topic of 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 just loving God and he will help us to learn to love ourselves he'll help us to learn to gravitate toward him because this thing that we do called life we're living um and it's gonna happen life is upon us but it can be oh so much better with him right by our sides with him living in us the holy spirit living in us and us working and you know allowing the lord to use us so i'm just going to go ahead and get started because god has been pressing on me to share with you this devotional that i have been reading and i haven't because different things have been coming up especially this week has been so busy for me but um, now is the time so i'm going to start today and i'm prayerfully going to come on every day um, and just share the devotional because it's a daily devotional um, that God has um, that I have been given and I have been graced to um, to take part in each and every day and I love it it gives me what I need to keep um, to start my day and to keep my day going I go back to it also to um, to just refer back to it so it's from this right here, this is the devotional right here. It's called Jesus Always um, Embracing in His Presence. And it is by Sarah Young. This is the devotional, and it's a daily devotional. This was given to me by one of my lovely, loving aunts for Christmas. And I cannot remember which one. I want to say it was um, my aunt, Portia, Anthony's aunt, who gave it to me. Um, she typically gives out great great study gifts like this um at christmas time so i'm thanking my aunt and my loving aunt my precious aunt for this gift because it is blessing my life each and every day as i share with you i pray that it blesses your life and there's something that you can and i know you will get something um that you can take away that you can relate to if you want to chime in with me um and just have a conversation or talk about some things we can do that too um so i'm going to go ahead and start today's devotional today is february 22nd this is how it looks today is february 22nd so there's one for each day and i'm going to read and it's like in the um in the first person yeah because it's like he's speaking to you so that's another reason why i really love this devotional it's like he's speaking to you um and i'm going to begin reading one of my names is wonderful counselor i understand you far far better than you understand yourself so come to me with your problems and insecurities seeking my counsel so one thing that you notice is that God is called the Wonderful Counselor, all in the Word. Um, that is one of his many names, but um, 
one of his that is one of his many names and he's called many things the light of the world the rose of sharon the the prince of peace and things like that but wonderful counselor is one of his one of his names and lord knows we all may come there all there may come a time where we all will need some counseling you need some guidance um and it might not be in an office setting um it may just be in um just speaking with friends can be a counseling moment, can be therapeutic. Speaking with, with um, friends that are imparting to you some wisdom that they have, maybe concerning a situation that is similar to what you're going through or something like that. Wonderful counselor, that's what our God is. In the light of my loving presence, you can see yourself as you really are. Radiantly lovely in my brilliant righteousness. God lives in us and may he shine through you on today. Though my righteousness is perfect, you will continue to struggle with imperfections. And we all can relate to that. We all have things that we would like to change or things that um, things about ourselves and then things about others that we would like to change. There are imperfections in ourselves and in, uh, in, in, you know, the environments that we live in. Yours and others, as long as you live in this world, still your standing with me is secure. Nothing in all creation can separate you from my love. This is a reminder um, to us to understand and know that God's love is surpasses everything. It's bigger than everything and it's deeper than anything. A good counselor helps us a good counselor helps you recognize truth and live according to it. According, Actually, I was born and came into the world to testify to the truth. So be open and honest when you bring me your concerns. Also, fill your mind and heart with my word, which contains absolute truth. A wonderful counselor is not only extremely good at helping people, but also able to inspire delight or pleasure. Delight yourself in me, beloved, and I will give you the desires of your heart. And then there are scriptures that follow the reading at the bottom. I'm going to go over those. This is Isaiah 9, 6. For a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. Once again, that was Isaiah 9, 6. Next verse, for I am convinced that neither death nor life Neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor any else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Romans 8, 38 through 39. That was a huge verse and it said a lot. Um just letting us know and remember that you call to your mind that nothing can separate you from the God. Nothing, no thing are the words that that are put together to make up the word nothing. There is nothing that can separate you from the word, from the love of God. There is no wrong that you've done or that you did or that you're going to do that can separate you from the love of God. There is nothing. Sometimes we think that, oh God, I... I slipped up, I tripped up, I, I did this thing, I said this thing, I thought this thing, um, and there's no way that I can be forgiven. But um, Romans 8.38 reminds us, and may it call back to your mind, that nothing can separate us from the love of God. There's no sin, there's no shame, there's no, and all of this is like coupled under sin, right? There's no shame. I can't even, I can't even <laughs> think things. I praise God because there was a time for me that I thought that like some things that I did or the way that I felt and things like that, you know, it was just, it's just too much. It's just too much. And nobody could love you past whatever, whatever it is that I did. No, no one 
I'm not worthy of love um, or I can't be loved. And this is not the case. So I pray that if you're going through anything right now, that if you're facing any situation, that you be reminded that nothing, no decision that you made two years ago, three years ago, last night, this morning, take your burdens to the Lord and he will give you rest. Take your burdens, take your worry, take your strife, take your whatever it is. You know, we all go through um, these things all throughout the day sometimes for some of us and then there are moments and then there are seasons but whatever it is I pray that you take it to the Lord and that um, you you remember and be reminded that it's not too big it's not too hard for God um, not at all Romans eight thirty eight through 39 specifically reminds us of that because there are so many things in this world and on this earth that tell us different that tell us that what we do how we how we live how we look who we love can separate us from god and this is not the truth um pilate said this is the last verse john eighteen thirty seven. pilate said so are you a king Jesus responded, you say I am king. Actually, I was born and came into the world to testify to the truth. All who love the truth recognize what I say is true. So truth recognizes truth. And that's all that can be said about that. Truth recognizes truth. I pray that you look to God to figure out and to find out what the truth is. We spoke about some of that this morning and um, not leaning on our own understanding, but that we place our things of thinking or confusion or um, manners of, of, of figuring things out in the hands of God um, when it all boils down to it. Yes, you know what you know. Yes, you've learned what you learned. Yes, you've experienced what you've experienced. Yes, you've gone through school and you've got all of this education. But may your ultimate, um, may your ultimate learning and like what you take from a thing, may it come from God because he gives us wisdom. He gives us truth. He gives us understanding. He, he's given us like these experiences that we've had in our lives in order for us to grow, in order for us to um, be sharpened and become better. It's never to, to knock us down or to I don't know. Sometimes um, I know I, I myself may feel like um, there are times when um, and a lot of times we do say the enemy this and the enemy that. I mean, if you're calling yourself the enemy sometimes and, you know, maybe if I wasn't where I wasn't supposed to be or I wasn't doing what I wasn't supposed to do. Some things wouldn't happen and God allows for, for things to happen in our lives so that we can um, learn from them, so that we can grow, so that we can maybe share that truth with someone else, be it our child, be it our best friend or who, whoever, be it just somebody that you come into um, impromptu conversation with. You can share with someone um, and help them out of a struggle that they may be in. Um, that was the last verse. No, it's one more. Psalm 37, 4. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. God's word indiscriminately um, is there for us to go to, to remind ourselves that we are not alone, to remind ourselves that he is our counselor, to remind us that we do have love inside of us. It is up to us to make the choice in order to serve him, in order to um, grow and be of use be of use and bring his name glory it is up to us to do the things that he would have us to do there is choice in um there is choice in being receiving of the word of god and being receiving of the tips and the the skills and the the love that he's placed inside of us because we can have we can we all have gifts we all have tools we all have skills that he's specifically given us but if we don't use those things unto him that he's given to us and um in the way that he's given to us you know it's just not as big we will be blessed because god is a blesser he's a you know for lack of a better term he loves us this much he loves us so um that he's gonna bless us he's gonna bless us but out of the 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 out of 
the seed that is planted, it the the best that it will grow will have to do with how much you give to him. He's going to give you everything that you need. And the word says that your gift will make room. So I implore you, I encourage you to give your gifts, your talents, and your skills, and even everything that you know, everything that we think we know to God, that he may um, grow you in a way that will blow you out of your will blow you out of your mind will blow your mind that's it that will blow your mind so i just wanted to share and this is the february 2nd devotional i pray that um that you be blessed that god continue to bless your life and this is the book that it's coming from that I kind of, I try to start my day with, and even if I don't get to start my day with it, because sometimes I get up and I'm gone, and it happens, you know, um, I can still, I can still go to it, and the word is always the word, so never feel like, um, oh, I forgot to pray this morning, or I didn't get my time with God this morning, never fear, never fret, God is always available, and he's always there, and he's never left your side, the word says that um, the Lord will never leave or forsake us, for he is the wise counselor, I pray that you be blessed on today, um, and I will return tomorrow with another, um, with the next, what, with February 23rd, devotion and i will share as god has um placed it in my heart to do so y'all have a wonderfully blessed day thanks again for tuning in to awesome god radio the good life gospel show if you don't have the app download it right now awesomegodradio.com y'all have a blessed day hey miss drake hey everybody i pray that you were blessed on today have a blessed on y'all